Hey everybody, so I'm out here exploring in the Mojave Desert today and I got the Geiger counter on. I'm uh, looking for a, an old, a former uranium prospect. Um, they might have been doing some copper mining and uranium out here. There's lots of different uh, minerals mined in this whole greater area, but um, I'm in Southern California in the Mojave Desert and I've been walking for a little while and I got a background rate. It's been jumping around a bit, but as you can see, maybe the 30s. Um, so I don't know exactly where this thing is. It's kind of hard. I just have a general idea of where it should be. So I figured I'd take you guys along. Um, hopefully my batteries don't die today and then I can show you what I come up with. Let's see if we can find it. Got the old rock hound with today. All right, still out there walking along, nothing uh, going on, but I'm gonna keep this thing on and uh, see what happens. 35, it's about the highest we're getting on here. So we're still well within normal range for now. And I'm just curious to see what happens as we, you know, maybe this will help me figure out if I'm getting closer to anything but this one you pretty much have to have on the stuff that's hot so um, I'll just have to you know search around and see what happens there's not a whole lot going on out here so I don't know how difficult this will be to find but it's an adventure all right just gonna head up here to these outcroppings of granite this stuff is going to be different than the Morrison stuff that we've talked about here, which I showed you guys some really hot, well, pretty hot stuff um, from Morrison Formation. Yeah, those um, fossilized plants and bones get pretty interesting. Um, we'll look at some more of that uh, soon here. I'll be heading to that area on some adventures, um, just working on those plans. But yeah, again, background is still pretty normal. I'm uh, I, it went up to 46 and that's the highest we've been walking around so far, but um, I feel like we got to be getting close here. I'm looking for a couple of features here, but I, we'll see. Let's head up. All right, background rate is a little higher than it was back there. Um, 55 is about as high as we've seen now. Um, not to say that that necessarily has anything to do with us being at the site yet, but this is what we got going on. I don't think we're quite there, so we'll see. All right, so I just happened to look over here, and it looks like there's a cairn, a stack of rocks up there. And I thought there might be some markers, but that's not really obvious. So if that's it, um, I'm just not sure anything that indicates that anybody was digging around here so maybe we just need to head up a little further see what else we can find maybe there'll be another cairn or something all right so still not sure but I think I see up there might be a digging up there in the mountain so we're gonna have to head up there it's a little further than I thought but not not too far we'll, we'll check that out and see if there's anything going on up there now all right the fun of walking in the desert <laughs> you think it's flat it's not so I'm like in these little mazes here these where the, it's cut the wash out um, I think I got a little off course but I'll head over this hill and we'll be back on track <laughs> about the Mojave Desert is it started off kind of chilly because it was it's windy this morning it's pretty windy um, it's calming down a bit now and now it's getting hot so um, again this wasn't supposed to be too crazy of a walk but it's panning out to be a little more of an adventure but I guess that's what makes it fun huh we're almost there all right well there's a corner post up there or something it's marking 
Normally these mark either corners or sometimes they'll mark mining claims of some sort, but that one has a look of an older one, so I'm not sure. Not really oriented today as to exactly where this should be, and I see nothing here. So yeah, definitely older and there's nothing on it. So that's not super helpful. Sometimes I'll have a nice marker on them, but that one did not. Um, okay. All right. It looks like a lot of quartz glistening in the sun. So maybe that was something was, somebody was digging up there. Um, but obviously it's been a while because this is all grown over. It sort of looks like a remnant road maybe there. Uh, it's starting to get windy again, so head up there and see if that's where they were digging. Well, kind of disappointing, I guess, but what we actually have is just a little quartz vein here. It's really shiny quartz. I thought that was uh, giving it away back there, but yeah, we just have a bunch of shiny quartz. It doesn't look like it was actually dug out here. So a lot of feldspar. What do you think, Pop? It's pretty cool. Let's see if we're ways up here. Oh well, you win some, you lose some. But we had a successful day, right, Rockhound? Ooh. Hey, hey, sing with me. Come on, ready? <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> So I'm getting a little higher reading here. Kind of went off route, took a different route back. Um, found some wooden stakes that looked pretty old, um, but still nothing that's on a you know an appreciable site. Um, so I don't know, but this piece is giving me a pretty high reading. So that's interesting. Let's see how high that gets. I'd like to sit a rock behind it and I could leave it there. Let's see if I can do that. Alright, she's still climbing so we've got something interesting there. Huh. I think we'll leave that piece behind. So I know I gotta be close. There's these are just these are just some pieces that are washing down, but I looked around and still didn't find the source. Um, I, I, you know, you'd expect even a higher reading than this if we actually had something good, but uh, I know I'm right in the vicinity, so uh, I don't know. The, the mine remains a mystery. I'm sure it's a really old prospect out here, and uh, I don't know the last time anyone's found it or been to it, but uh, I've just heard some stories. All right, guys, quick break time. Um, just got out of those hills back there. Um, kind of quick recap. Kind of didn't find what we were looking for. Kind of found something, though. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, that's pretty interesting back there. It's hard to really orient yourself in these hills. There's not a whole lot of landmarks to use. And that threw me off a little bit as to what I was looking for. Um, that prospect that I heard about, um, I don't know, I didn't see anything that, you know, like markers, stakes, or anything that looked like diggings were done at that, at that spot. But that was, where it was hot was really close to where it should have been. So that's curious, right? Because it wasn't like crazy, but it got up there. Um, after I, the reading went up to 120, 
five, I think, or something like that. That's the highest it got, so it wasn't crazy. Um, but it was it was up there, and I, so I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Uh, it remains a mystery, uh, this mysterious uranium prospect. But I do think it's out here. I and I think it's pretty old. I don't know whatever became of it, but. Whatever, we had an adventure, we got close, we learned some stuff. Um, and speaking of learning, I will be talking more in detail about uranium, about radioactive rocks and uh, minerals. And we'll go into more detail for those soon. Um, I, we're going to be heading to Utah soon, so stay tuned for those adventures. Now that it's starting to warm up for the year, locations are gonna open up more. We'll be able to go to a lot more interesting localities so um, Utah will be one of them and there's some cool stuff to look at in Utah there's the Morrison formation which tends to have some hot stuff in it I actually showed you guys one piece um, that I got from there and we'll take a look at some other things so dinosaur bones and plant fossils and stuff like that can sometimes be associated with uranium deposits, radioactive deposits. So we'll talk more about that um, probably when we get to that locality. Today we were in a more granitic environment, um, so very different. But yeah, um, I'm tired, I'm thirsty. Got some birds here in the yucca. Not sure if you can hear them, that's cool. Um, I saw a really big lizard. Sometimes in these spots I see burrows, but not today. So I'll take you guys on some more mining adventures and maybe we'll find more stuff we're looking for. But I hope you enjoyed that today. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next adventure here at Let's Go Geo. Bye guys.